So the question here says that before and after increase, the mass remains same. There is a change in kinetic energy represented as kinetic energy 1 and kinetic energy 2 for before and after respectively. And linear momentum being P1 and P2, given to us that kinetic energy, sorry, uh, momentum is increased by 20%, which means P2 is equal to P1 plus 20 by 100, which is 1 by 5, which is equal to 6 by 5 P1. Or you can take that, take that after the increase, P2 is equal to P1 plus 20 by 100, which is 0 0.2. P1 plus 0 0.2 P1 is 1.2 P1. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if you have if you have this, what is change in kinetic energy? Kinetic energy 2 minus kinetic energy 1, the whole upon kinetic energy 1 into 100. What is kinetic energy 2? It is P2 squared by 2m. What is kinetic energy 1? Kinetic energy 1 is P1 squared by 2m. So, if you manipulate this, what we get is kinetic energy 2 is P2 squared by 2m. Kinetic energy 1 is P1 squared by 2m. Kinetic energy 1 is P1 squared by 2m. Since it is common, we can take P2 square minus P1 square the whole upon 2m into reciprocal of, reciprocal of this, which is 2m by P1 square. 2m by 2m is 1, right? 2m by 2m is 1. So what we have is P2 square minus P1 square upon P1 square. So this is equal to, what is P2 square? P2 square can be written as 1.2 P1 square. So this is 1.2 P1 square minus P1 square, the whole upon P1 square into 100. So if you divide this complete equation by P1 square, what we have is 1.2 2 square minus 1 square into 100. What is 1.2 square? I can write this as, okay, let me not skip this cap here. So this can be written as 1.2 can be written as, 1.2 square can be written as 12 by 10, the whole square which is equal to 12 squared 144 by 100 minus 1. 144 minus 100 is 44. So that becomes 44 by 100 to 100. Therefore, percentage change in kinetic energy is equal to 44. Okay. So the correct option is option C, 44. Now, if you want to go uh, have a, a very detailed uh, way of uh, you know, solving it, or maybe if you, if you want... Uh, clarity in the algebraic thing here. So what I've done is I've written the solution here in a much detailed way. You can make note of that as well. Percentage change in kinetic energy. Same equation, P2 square minus P1. Now for your, um, you know, just for an additional point of view, I have used the fractional point, uh, the fractional um, way to represent here. So you can, maybe you can just go through this as well. So the only thing that I've done here in addition is that P2 square minus P1 square, I've expanded using A square minus B square as A plus B into AB. You may be uh, wondering why did I do so? Because there are some questions which are coming up in the in the you know in the later part of the series, which which are easy to solve when you use identical you know um, uh, algebraic identities. So I just made it with that P2 plus P1 into P2 minus P1, and then I gone for P2 is 6 by 5 P1, P2 is 6 by 5 P1. And using fractions, it becomes very easy to solve because 6 plus 5 is 11, 6 minus 5 is 1. By 25, 25 times 100 is 4, 4 into 11 is 44. Okay, so that's that's one, one another way of looking at the question. So maybe you can make, you, make use of this as well. Okay, I hope you have written down this. So let's move on to the next question now. <coughs>